Welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Bill Thomas. Let's take a look at the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their March 21st, 2023 meeting. During special presentations, Fire Captain Tony Del Castillo recognized 10 members of the Fire Department with Clinical Save Award certificates and EMS coins for resuscitation successes in the field using Autopulse device, which performs automated CPR on patients in the field and statistically provides better outcomes. Following public communications, City Council discussed the consent item to purchase one new fully electric shuttle bus and disposition of surplus vehicles to ensure this was not decided based on reduced ridership during COVID. Recreation Parks and Library Director Ali Mancini assured the Council the decision was based on difficulties finding licensed drivers and costs to the City. Council approved the item and requested that ridership use of Dial-A-Ride be brought before City Council at a future date. During staff presentations, City Attorney Mark Hensley presented a resolution to approve the proposed assignment of Topgolf USA El Segundo LLC sublease and lease back to 42 Real Estate LLC. Both the City Attorney and Senior Real Estate Managers at Topgolf shared that this change is purely a financial maneuver and will have no effect on the arrangement between Topgolf and the City. City Council passed the resolution. Human Resources Director Rebecca Reddick presented a resolution to replace the budgeted management analyst position in the city manager's office with a special projects administrator, establish a part-time accountant classification, and revise the job title for the fire equipment mechanic classification to senior equipment mechanic. City Council passed that resolution. City Clerk Tracy Weaver presented a resolution to approve a required reasonable accommodation policy for City Brown Act meetings and direct procedures for teleconferencing pursuant to California Bill 2449, including revising city agendas and requiring city committees, commissions, and boards to use traditional Brown Act teleconferencing. This resolution would require that City Council meeting agendas include a hyperlink to attend the meeting via live webcast and itemizes limitations under which City Council members are permitted to attend the meeting remotely. City Council passed that resolution. During reports, Mayor Drew Boyles asked City Council for direction regarding the Sister City program with Guaymas, Mexico. Council discussed the great value and legacy of the program, the challenges of visiting Guaymas, given the high crime in the area, and modern technology options for remote engagement. City staff will come back to Council with a more comprehensive staff report at a future date for discussion. Mayor Drew Boyles then discussed the possibility of establishing a public safety task force. Council approved the creation of a temporary subcommittee be formed to focus on technology innovation options regarding public safety. Finally, City Manager Daryl George provided an update on the city's efforts to address the ongoing odors and noxious gases coming from the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant. The city continued to meet with Al Muratsuchi's office regarding Assembly Bill 1216, wastewater treatment plants, monitoring of air pollutants, requiring plants like Hyperion located in California to monitor the air quality for H2S, NOx, and VOCs. The city has been pushing for this legislation for months, and it was finally introduced by Muratsuchi in February, and it is now in committee. Assemblymember Muratsuchi will be touring Hyperion this Friday, and he's also hosting a community coffee at El Segundo Library that's happening on the morning of Saturday, March 25th. Now, the city has had three meetings with Dr. Stenstrom over the past two weeks, where he provided input on the language of Assembly Bill 1216, and he followed up on Hyperion's compliance with the orders of abatement issued by AQMD. Tomorrow, the city is meeting with Barbara Romero, the director and general manager of L.A. San, and her staff, who runs the Hyperion plant. At the request of the city, AQMD reported that since March 7th, they received 30 odor complaints. Ten of those were made on March 9th. No new notices of violation have been issued, and AQMD continues to evaluate Hyperion's compliance with the orders of abatement. AQMD is having a hearing on Thursday, March 23, 2023, starting at 9 a.m., to review a petition to modify an order of abatement regarding flares. Information about Hyperion can be found on the city's website, and that's elsegundo.org slash Hyperion. Now to watch the complete city council meeting for March 21st, 2023, and to learn more about the agenda items covered, please visit elsegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. The next meeting will be on Tuesday, April 18th. <music>